Watch these unique technologies and innovative methods that can possibly save our planet Earth. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. And welcome back again to our channel. Since we humans ourselves are the ones responsible for taking care of our environment, today, let's talk about some very unique but interesting technologies and innovative ways that can help save our planet Earth. So, let's get started and here we go with our video. Number one is innovative method of converting algae into fuel. With $2 million from the U.S. Department of Energy, University of Michigan researchers aim to make the long-touted promise of algae as a biofuel sources for diesel engines into a reality. Their goal? Create biofuels that work with existing diesel engines and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 60% compared with normal diesel fuels. To do that, they will work with colleagues at Penn State University on a three-year project to perform an end-to-end -end evaluation of how best to grow algae, transform it into a diesel fuel, and maximize its performance during the combustion process. Number two is Scientists in South Korea has developed methods to create renewable energy using coffee grounds. A group of local scientists has recently developed a method to convert coffee grounds into biofuel. That means South Korea could reuse nearly 150,000 tons of waste that gets thrown out every year. South Korea imported 143,000 tons of coffee. That annual figure is estimated at over 150 tons when also accounting for coffee beans that are brought into the nation separately by travelers and tourists. That's a great deal of caffeine and an extra supply of energy for consumers. But it also creates a large amount of coffee residues that are thrown out as waste. Number 3 is Machine Transforms Household Trash Into Fuel A father has invented a waste incinerator which allows his family to recycle their rubbish at home. He says the device, which is about the size of a washing machine, can generate enough energy to heat a house. Prototypes are being tested and he hopes that one day, the incinerator will become commonplace, feeding under work surfaces alongside dishwashers. It works by heating up the rubbish and turning it into a small amount of ash, which can be flushed safely down the drain. Number 4 is South Korean green companies adopt eco-friendly systems to protect environment.
with fine dust emerging as the country's biggest concern. More and more companies in South Korea are going green to minimize their carbon footprint and emissions. Process innovation and new systems are helping them conserve energy, reduce pollution, and boost productivity all at the same time. Number 5 is Waste to Energy Plant to Power Addis Ababa Households Ethiopia has commissioned a massive waste to energy facility. The plant will generate 50 megawatts of electricity from a rubbish collected across the capital. The power generated will light up about a quarter of all households in Addis Ababa. Number 6 is, China discovers huge natural gas reserve in Yellow Sea's Buhai Bay. The China National Offshore Oil Corporation said the discovery in the Bojong 196 gas field in northern China's Bohai Bay is enough to support a million people's energy supplies for more than 100 years. The discovery is considered a milestone since the complicated terrain makes finding natural reserves very difficult in the Bohai Sea, the innermost gulf of the Yellow Sea. Number 7 is Italy's Pollution Eating Cement in Action In 2012, Italy had the most pollution-related deaths in Europe. More than 84,000 people in the country died prematurely owing to bad air quality. Milan remains one of the worst polluted cities, not only in the country but also in the continent. To combat this, scientists have developed a new type of photocatalytic cement that absorbs pollutants and turns them into harmless salts. And that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So if you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.